Welcome back to Good Day. So summertime means cool, sweet treats and practicing hobbies. John Monk is doing both this, this morning in Walbridge. Uh, John, we're talking ice cream and art. What a wonderful combination. Yeah, combination of ice cream and art is, is not common, but it's a no-brainer, right? It makes perfect sense. Two great things going together. Yeah, well, I'm here in Walbridge at Pinky's Scoop Shack. It's uh, been open for just under two months here on the main uh, main intersection of Maine and Union here in Walbridge, and I'm joined with David Overholt. He's the, the, the founder of the Northwest Ohio Rural Arts Group, and... Uh, how are those two groups tied here together between Pinkies and, and, and Nora? What we are is a community arts group that needed w a way to fundraise to yeah. expand our art. We want to bring more artists, more different types of art. Mm -hmm. So we thought, well, what's more fun than ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, who doesn't love ice cream? So uh, we have a captive audience with it, so we decided to open an ice cream shop. Yeah, so you, you moved into this uh, location here in... in, in Wallbridge, and not only is ice cream on display, but a lot of your guys' art is on display. Right, and and right. much of this is your students' artwork. Right. I have over almost 30 students, and uh, that's all their work. Uh, it's all finger painting. Uh, I teach wow. a method of finger painting, and they take off with it. So. How long have you been doing these lessons? Uh, since 1999, actually. Wow. So in the area. Quite a while. So, All right. And, yeah. and you do them two days a week, you said? I do it two classes, one day a week. One day, on two Thursdays. classes, one day a week. That's yeah. why Pinkies is closed on Thursdays. Excellent. So. And so uh, in, in, the, in the two months or so you've been open, what's the turnout? What's sort of the response been for Pinkies here in the Walbridge community? Uh, well, it's been a little... Uh, slow a little bit, but <laughs> people are still figuring out that we're not a soft serve ice cream place. Yeah. So we're hard serve ice cream. We're mm -hmm. super premium ice cream uh, from a place called Chocolate Shop out of Madison, Wisconsin. Okay. And it's really good ice cream, and you can't beat it around in this area. I don't think anybody's got anything like it. So. Well, and when an artist is opening his own ice cream shop, he did all of the art himself <laughs> too for for the display and for the pricing. So we're going to go back behind the counter here. And uh, you can just sh showcase some of, some of your ice cream. And as you said, it's from Wisconsin. Right. So this is the only place in the region you're going to get this. Right. There's no place kind of else around here that's going to have this kind of ice cream. So. Excellent. So what is your favorite? What's the favorite that you serve? Oh, mine. Mine is uh, called Zanzibar. That's mm. the chocolate there. It's triple Dutch cocoa. Oh. <laughs> it, it, it's like the best fun sickle you ever had in your life. So. Wonderful. But all of them are great. The the black cherry is one of the biggest sellers we got. Uh, people are now making it into Sunday with hot fudge, and it tastes just like a chocolate covered cherry cordial. Oh. You know. Excellent. So. And what hours are you guys open? We're open from well Monday, Friday, mm -hmm. Saturday. Uh, we're open from uh, 1 o'clock to 10, mm -hmm. and Sundays we're open from 9 to, uh, or I'm sorry, from uh, noon to 9. Okay. So, uh, but other than that, we're closed on Wednesday and Thursday. And then how can people get in, get in touch with you to take some of these lessons you guys are offering? The lessons, you just show up at the class. You don't have to register, pre-register or anything. First three weeks, you don't need any supplies. Uh, it costs you $10 a week to start it. Okay. Um, you just show up at the class. It's noon to 3 on Thursday and 7 to 10 on Thursday. And what would you say to Greasy Wheels for someone who, you know, not necessarily getting back into art or has always done art in one of the classes, but someone who's never tried the art hobby? What would you I've say had to Greasy Wheels start? I've had students that swear they can't draw a straight line with a ruler, and I <laughs> encourage them that we don't use rulers, so <laughs> that's not a problem. Uh, anybody can learn this. I mean, anyone. I've got 12-year-olds all the way up to 90-year-olds doing it. So Excellent. Well, I'll be checking in with his art class later today. He has one starting up at noon, and, and we'll also check out some of your ice cream later for my Go419 feature that I'll air later today in the 5 o'clock. But for now, reporting live in Walbridge, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11. Looking forward to seeing some of John's artwork later. Well, we want to thank you for making a good day a part of this Thursday morning. And coming up, a multi icon in Toledo this weekend. You can meet part of a Detroit super group when Toledo's original 9 a.m. show returns. Oh.